huge mistake sometimes I see beginners traders make and maybe sometimes advanced traders is not knowing how to identify when the trend is over and when a new one is starting out. What is the difference between market structure shift and what is the difference between change of character? Are we entering a new trend or maybe simply we are just in a market correction before we move in the same direction again? What caused this market structure shift? Maybe the market is near smart money zones, supply and demand, or maybe at huge resistance and support level or maybe the market entering major order block triggering liquidity which caused the market to reverse direction and move in a new way starting new trend knowing when the market is about to call it quit is more crucial than identifying new trend just because the trend is over doesn't automatically means that the new trend is starting out and having the skill to identify the trend is over or identifying a new trend is the foundation every strategy having this skill means that you are able to use your strategy at the right time and at the right market condition that's why in today's video we will be covering how to identify new trend is starting how to identify major market swings how to identify major market structure and how to identify minor market structure how to identify support and resistance supply and demand zones and what are the poi point interest levels and finally we will learn how to identify the trend is over and in the end, I will show you how all of this is helpful for your trading strategy. And we are starting right now. The rules to establishing new trend in the market or finding a new trend in the market is simply for me, I want to be able to identify three new move, moves in the market. Let's imagine that this whole chart here, there is no data and the market just starting right now, right here. Starting with this swing to the upside, we have pullback, another swing, breaking this structure to the upside. What I mean by three point move, this is a one move. This one here is the second move. And this is here, the third move to the upside. One, two, three. In this case, I will start thinking that we are having an uptrend, but it's not confirmed yet. Why it's not confirmed? Because I don't know if this swing is over because it might keep continuing moving to the upside without giving me any pullback or confirmation or it might also keep going to the downside from here. Simply this could end up to be a market correction and the market continue moving to the downside. So what I have now for fact, I have break of structure at this zone, nothing else. But when the market comes down and again breaks structure to the upside, I, want, I have a confirmation that the market now in an uptrend because this wave is ended, this wave two started here and wave three came and ended wave two. And now the market gave me confirmation that we are starting new trend to the upside with this break of structure at this level here. So what I have now for a fact, when I saw that I have three move market on my chart, I kept my eyes on this chart waiting to have my confirmation that the new trend is starting out. So move one, two, three, break of structure. And now we're starting to move to the upside. Looking at the chart here, you can see that we have this move to the downside. I will explain what I did here. Let's see how a new trend will end up this trend. As long as we are below this swing here, we are still moving to the downside. But when the market break this structure here, look at this level, we broke this previous swing to the upside. So there is nothing yet, no confirmation. The market make pullback here, structure. Again, it did not break this structure. So this is a valid swing here. And market came to the upside and starting break this previous swing. Right now, I have my confirmation that the market is to the upside and I want to be with the trend, not against the trend. If I am, in fact, a trend following trader. What I will do next, I will wait for the market to give me a reason inside this previous market structure or previous swing to trade the market to the upside. So as you can see, the market did it here. I traded, for example, I will share with you in my future video, a perfect three way swing trading strategy, or you call it a trend following strategy. So right now we have this structure broke this one. So this is a major structure. This is another previous, another swing low, new high. And now what we have here is we have this market structure, which broke this one. This is here a break of structure. What? break of structure means we have the first move to the downside this is our first move to the downside we have our second move and here is our third move to the downside as you can see we have identified that the market established three ways to the downside when and now 
When the market comes and break this structure, we get our confirmation that we are moving to the downside. This is very important. Otherwise, you will be still trading to the upside. You will still thinking, okay, we are to the upside and you keep buying the market thinking that the market will go your way, not knowing that we have violated previous swing and the market now in fact is in the bearish direction and if we entered here we waited we have three points down we confirmed our thesis that the trend is down because we have violated previous swing and this one also violated this swing and now we can trade to the downside if we got here i probably got this trade because i traded this as a flag trend continuation the flag to the downside and i went with the market trading this move to the downside so as you can see we got the trade very early in the market because we were able to identify the move to the upside has now ended this here was the move to the upside but now has ended because we have three moves to the downside breaking structure twice was this one when we had another break of structure confirming our thesis of one two three and now we could sell the market if you know anything about trend continuation patterns or breakout patterns probably you got in in this trade here another way to enter the market was another breakout patterns or trend continuation patterns which is this video is helpful so far for you please like share and don't forget to subscribe and thank you thank you thank you 1000 plus subscriber thank you so much for tuning in and thank you all viewers for watching my videos another flag at this zone here and also what is this pattern guys another double top double bottom pattern also we got in this trade at this zone stop loss 180r and i usually take my target for the flag at Fibonacci 127 and don't worry make sure to subscribe to the channel I will explain everything about Fibonacci in future videos so 127 from where the pull has started till this zone here so my take profit will be at this level minus few pips because I don't want to be left out in the market carrying the trade by myself as you can see many traders took their take profit at this level here few took the trade here because we were able to deduct early on the market has shifted from upside to the downside now how to identify major market structure and minor market structure understanding that the trend needs three point move now we know that this structure here is a minor structure because this the whole structure the whole move down is the major structure this move down is one move this move is one move even though that this is two move actually one two but because the, this whole move is the reason this structure is broken and this whole move this one here the whole reason the market now shifted to the downside so this structure here it's not major structure this structure here the whole move to the downside is major structure because this move here the whole move broke this one not this one alone the whole move this is a major structure if you want to identify the trend don't draw your trend line like that taking every major and minor structure together this is not how you draw the trend no this is how you draw the trend taking every major market structure this is not a major market structure because it did not break previous market structure this one is major because this whole move this whole move to the upside broke this one so and this whole move one plus broke this one why i'm not taking this one like that because the market came here and continued to the upside so now this swing here is not valid as one structure to the upside now this whole move to the upside is one structure and this whole move also is one move because it tested the lows here but it did not break the lows so this is a one move this is a one move i will not take this as one move because this is a minor here minor move double top this is the swing swing again this market swing to the downside did not break previous market swing so it is one swing one move and this another market move to the upside creating new market structure continue moving down now this is a whole move down because it did break previous market support level so it is major structure to the downside another market structure another market structure market structure breaking support market structure breaking support marking structure breaking support if we hide our candles this is how you hide your candles how you draw your major swing and ignore any minor swing in the market now how to identify minor market structure any swings in the market within the previous structure that does not break previous low or high it is 
minor structure. For example, look at this move. We have one move to the downside. So this is swing high and we have here swing low. Let's mark this as swing and mark this as swing. This move here, if the market makes this many, many minor structure, it is minor. As long as we are within the swing high and swing low, this whole move is minor structure. This market move from the previous swing low to previous swing high is one swing, counting all the minor structure within this move. So right now we know how to identify trend, we know how to identify major market structure. We need to know how to identify minor market structure because we need to avoid these structure. So what is minor market structure? Let's first identify one major market structure, which is this move from up to down, because this move here, all this move is the move which broke previous market low. Any move, as you can see, any move within this move, any structure within this move is a minor structure and not actually tradable. Unless you have a very specific strategy to, to trade minor market structure. Now, how to use what we have learned so far to identify mark support and resistance and market supply and demand zones. There is a difference between the support and resistance and supply and demand zones, for me at least. So for example, let's delete everything on the chart right, right now. Let's draw our chart here. I hope now you learn how to draw the trend correctly. This swing, the whole swing here broke previous market low. This is a valid one. Pull back. And again, this previous swing broke this one. So it's valid. Market structure high, new market structure low. Again, pull back or market structure lower low, double top, same. Now you get the idea. Let's fast forward. What do we have here is we have the creation of one, two, three, one, two, three. So we have the creation of break of structure, another break of structure here confirming our market thesis that we might have new trend and we got a new trend here, as you can see, continuing to the upside. And I have explained this in previous video as well. So where is the support and resistance? And what is the difference between support and resistance and supply and demand? So when the market, we have established downtrend here, when the market comes back to this level here, I expect to see a resistance at this zone. So I expect them to have a resistance at this zone and the market to drop to the downside. If the market comes to this zone here, this is not only another resistance level, but it is also a strong supply level at this zone here. It's a strong supply area, which will create this move to the downside, force the market to move strongly to the downside, creating this swing. So here I expect when the market comes to test the previous swing low, I expect the market to face some resistance and maybe traders are watching this development they will get in and push the market to the downside again we have the same thing happened again at this zone another resistance another market resistance level but it's not a supply level it's only a resistance level at this zone here let's see if that happened again as you can see again the market came to test previous resistance move to the downside etc this is a resistance level as well as here and this one here resistance level and another resistance level here you get the idea where is the supply and demand zone these are the supply and demand zone where the whole swing started after this move is done this is another strong supply level after this whole move to the downside is created that this thing this swing here is strong supply level. Again, after this whole move to the downside happened, we know that this whole level is a strong supply level. And we can always sell the market here, look to sell the market here. But the first level to look for sell is previous resistance level. Now again, how do we identify that the market is ending? The same way we did identify new trend is coming, we identify trend is ending. So let's identify this trend as a downtrend. What we know now, as long as the market is below this swing, we are moving to the downside or the trend is down. Why? Because this is the previous lower low in the market. Looking left, this is the previous low here. So as long as the market is below this high, below this swing or below this previous lower high, we are moving, we're still moving to the downside. And we have our one, two, three. Also, we have break of structure at this level. Confirming our thesis, we are moving to the upside. What we can do now, wait for confirmation. And after that, we can trade the market to the upside. We got the confirmation. And now what will happen? We have identified the downtrend is over. And now we can watch 
the market at now this has become a support level now we can trade from here to the upside now another support level because we can now say this is a swing high break of structure let's watch the market see what happened here we have identified this as a support level and the market came exactly to our support level this is also here a demand level so as you can see the market keeps on respecting support and resistance and supply and demand level let's keep moving forward now this is here another swing the market came here we identify the swing and again we move this is very important and it's very fun to be able to have this skill you see we avoid minor swings at this zone because this is the major swing Swing. this is the major swing this is the major swing to the upside these here are market structure to the upside when you see the market like this you will be able to make a lot of money trading in the market because you will know where is the major structure and where is support and resistance and where is the supply and demand levels this is very important and it is the foundation of every strategy so what are POI or point of interest levels are they supply and demand zones are they support and resistance are they previous swing lower low lower highs or what is point of interest basically guys point of interest is a level where the market is expected to show significant reaction or reversal so when we identify the market this way what we want to see is where are the level where are the poi where can we expect the market to show some reaction so this is here swing another swing market swing to the upside market swing here lower highs the market keeps on moving to the downside and this is here the latest market swing when the market was going to the downside what we know for a fact is that if the market comes to this level the market was still moving to the upside we could see huge market interest in this zone which will lead the market to keep moving to the downside same thing for this market move to the upside also if you notice ever the market comes to test previous resistance also act as point of interest level same thing here every time the market comes to test the previous swing level it act as point of interest same here it act at point of interest so poi is a level in the market where the market is expected to show significant reaction at this level this move from here to here it's 800 pips because the market tested this previous low and act as point of interest it created it's acted as a gravity and created a lot of liquidity pushing the market to the downside and i have explained this in previous video where i show you how to identify major market supply and demand zone and major market order blocks and trade with double top as a confirmation don't forget to watch that video any strategy you might use needs to know how to identify market structure and mar major market swings and what are the best levels to enter and you cannot do that unless you know how to draw trend how to draw the trend swings and when the trend is ending and when the new trend is starting out because we were able to detect that the market is ending at this zone here when the market failed to make a new high and kept moving to the downside we were able to make huge profit trading this move to the downside also here as you saw here because the market now established three move and confirmed with break of structure and previous swing we now know we should be trading to the upside and the trend is to the upside so not knowing how to achieve that will lead you to not know what is the best strategy to use in the current market condition whether you are smc trader icd trader price action trader or a reversal trader if you don't know how to identify the trend you will not be able to use the right strategy at the right time in the right market condition and if you want to know how to use multi-time frame analysis in your trading watch this video next and see you in the next one guys